I don't know, man. That's just like your opinion. Today I'm going to be drinking and enjoying The Brood Abides. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Another uh, almost rainy, slightly drippy, hopefully not too badly so, on my computer day in early May. Um, today I'm going to be drinking and enjoying, or at least I'll be drinking. No, nah, I'm definitely going to be enjoying. I already know. The Brood Abides by Pelican Brewing. This is a white Russian inspired milk stout that is brewed with all sorts of adjuncts, coffee, cocoa, lactose, and vanilla. That lactose in particular, you think, well, sugars, those are eaten by the yeasts, but lactose is not e edible by yeasts, and so it actually lasts throughout the brewing process and comes into the beer as uh, sweetness and usually some additional body, some additional thickness. Uh, this is another one of, I believe, three milk stouts that I have tried this year. There was the... Um, Actually, I think technically four. Um, there was the left hand, which it was too simple, too just sweet, without anything, any other character to to counteract or channel or give context to that sweetness. Um, think of a sugar cake instead of a chocolate cake, right? Um, then there was Yeti, uh, Yeti by Great Divide, which was excellent. That was a delicious beer. Um, and it really showed just the contrast between what a little bit of extra complexity and a little bit of extra character can do to a, um, a milk stout. And then this one, and then I believe I tried another left hand. It was their peanut butter, which I have not, I don't believe I've done a review for. It was a peanut butter chocolate milk stout. And that was actually pretty nice. The, the nuttiness of the, um, of the, the peanut character in that beer really just added some some depth and that extra complexity that made uh, that made that left hand brew actually quite good. Anyways, I don't believe I'll be doing a video for that one, but I am doing a video for this one right now, and you're watching it. And because you're watching it, hey, hit a like, hit 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 a subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Wherever that button is, do it. Uh, share it with your friends. You know that's the way you let the algorithm know that I'm worth watching. And uh, then you see more of me, or more like me. And there's a lot of really pe good people out there like me. Um, well, not a whole lot like me, but people who talk about beer and have fun doing it. So let's get into this one. This is quite a thick head. Uh, it comes back quite neatly. Um, the beer's dark, you know, black, dark brown almost. You can see just a touch of dark brown and a little nipple there at the bottom of the glass. Um, the head is uh, darkly creamy darkly tan and uh, quite rocky. The smell has those uh, those kind of earthy notes that I found in a lot of a lot of beers in the last year. I, I presume those come from the hops. I have not identified which hop they come from uh, but it's kind of a, a lightly grassy earthy um, you know grass that's started to dry out a few days. It doesn't quite have that crisp, crisp, warm smell of a fully dried hay. Um, maybe there's some alfalfa in there, some herbal character. But then also this nice earthiness. Truth be told, I don't pick up a whole lot of chocolate. There's perhaps a hint of chocolate, like deep down, but but right now, like just just smelling this offhand, if I was just picking this up, and oh, that doesn't particularly smell like chocolate. Or like, uh, well, maybe there's some vanilla in there. There's a little bit of warmth from the vanilla. Um, possibly a hint. I would guess that the coffee and the chocolate are kind of the same level. They're like deep down, buried in the smell. You're you're more picking up this this earthiness and then this um, this vanilla warmth. Hmm. Oh gosh, this is a good beer, right? So a milk stout is a is a stout to which lactose, that is milk sugar, has been added. It generally has a thicker body, and it has a lot of sweetness because of that lactose that was not fermentable. 
the use of the adjuncts in this beer produce just more things going on. Uh, in general, milk stouts tend to be sweet and smooth and relatively simple. They're not going to be your, um, you know, your grandfather Raven or anything super big and bombastic like that. They tend to be slightly easier drinkers, but they're also, they also tend to be deceptively heavy because they're sweet and smooth. You're not picking up on what alcohol character it is, there is. This is only a 7%, so it's not even an imperial. Uh, so it's still a pretty on on the low end as far as milk stouts go, ABV wise. Um, so I'm not expecting a whole lot of booziness to it. There are definitely double milk stouts. I believe the uh, left hand that I panned uh, was a double milk stout, and so that would have been an imperial, an eight or nine something percent. Uh, but this one carries flavor. This one simply has that extra little bit of use of. Uh, judicious use of ingredients used correctly used wisely and so they just add that little bit much more that makes the beer enjoyable it's a tasty beer it's a beer that is good to drink um, there is a a thin line of bitterness that's just kind of interesting going on. It's like a, a deftly applied brush of herbs to your meal, right? It has a freshness to it as well. Then the the chocolate is kind of a, think of like a baker's chocolate. It's not, or baker's cocoa, um, Dutch process, unsweetened, right? There is a chocolate essence to it, maybe a, a chocolate backbone that's there, but it's not particularly sweet. The beer is sweet with the lactose. The chocolate is not sweet. So it's this it's this additional um, complex complexity, depth, uh, foundation to the beer. The coffee, if you pin me down and tickled me, I could say I could taste it. It's probably, once again, that little hint of bitterness. You know, your your baker's chocolate, it's bitter. Your coffee, it's bitter, right? They're they're dark, bitter flavors that are countering the and balancing the sweetness of the beer very nicely. Just adding that little bit. It's not huge quantities. It's a nice, it's a deftly applied brush that just, just brings the beer to life, makes it so much more than the contents of its bottle, if I may go that way. Um, the vanilla, I think that might give it what booziness it has because it does have a, a similar or, or an analogous warmth to it. It just kind of fills out, rounds out the beer. It's really nice. The finish for this is a really nice balance of um, like you ate a, a really good Ghirardelli dark chocolate brownie. So you have kind of that dark chocolate bitterness lingering down the back of your throat, but it's it's not fully bitter. It's It's semi-sweet, right? And it's just, it's nice. It's a good beer. It's a very tasty beer. It's a beer I enjoy quite a lot. There's also a little hint of nuttiness as I finish. I'm guessing that's probably from use of hops as well. Just a, something else to kind of cleanse the palate, kind of give you a finish. It's more of almost like a, you, know, you swallowed peanut butter uh, five minutes ago or something like that. That kind of nuttiness. And I'm guessing that comes from the hops. Yeah, it's a good beer. And as you like hold it in your mouth or swirl it around from side to side, it's character. You'll you'll pick up different different perspectives on it, different aspects. It's really nice, especially for one that's relatively easy to get, especially up here in the northwest. Pelican being from uh, northwestern Oregon, I believe the Cannon Beach area. Um, I considered visiting the Pelican Brew Pub last year uh, when we were coming back up from our Johnny and Friends camp, but we went to uh, Fort George instead. Oh, darn. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is a good beer. I enjoy this one quite a lot. I mean, enjoy it. My last bottle of it even more. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I have been drinking and definitely enjoying The Brood Abides by uh, Pelican Brewing, a white Russian inspired milk stout. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.